So this video is going to be about how to use drawing tools that you may not have used before. I mean, everybody's drawn before, everybody's doodled, everybody's sketched at some point. But now we're gonna talk about drawing pencils. Anything on the H scale is going to be a harder graphite, which makes a lighter line. As you move up to past HB and into B, you're going to get softer and softer graphite that's going to be harder. A number two pencil is actually a 2B. Our shading pencils can go all the way up to an eight or nine. So here you see what a value scale looks like, both straight as a line and curved. It's so that we understand how to do shading like this, so that you can have variations in light and value. Um, I started our project with a drawing I had already done before. Um, she was just laying around, um, nothing better to do. But what I, I wanted to show you was how you can add value scales to things to make them interesting and that's what you're going to do with your project so here's step by step with mine i took my lighter pencil first um, in my case i was using an hb um, i did the lighter values then i went in with a 2b that's our, our medium ground pencil and did some of the medium values with it as if it's a value scale where you press darkly and then you lighten the pressure to make lighter areas. And then I took my shading pencil. For me, that was something very high on the, the B scale. So I was working with more like an eight. Um, so you can see where I'm really punching in a lot of dark values in some areas that I wanna have move backward and areas that are lighter are gonna pop forward. So by learning how to make a value scale as smoothly as possible, where you're going dark and then medium and then light or reverse, you can go light to medium to dark, you start to see this wave of the hair. Your picture does not have to look anything like this. It could be of whatever you want. Make sure it has enough detail to be interesting. Um, the simpler you're drawing, um, the less impressive it's gonna be. Um, I wanted to have all of my value scales in her hair and behind her, eventually putting in some color pencils on her skin. Um, but keep in mind detail 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 practice 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 good art tends to just have a lot of detail like here once i put in my values i decided to make some of my edges thicker in ink so that they would pop a little bit more um again draw what you want just make sure that there's lots of detail um you don't have to use color pencils you can do the entire thing in pencil um, but you can see those value scales clearly in my work, which is what I'm going to want to see in yours. Again, the amount of pressure you use is what makes the difference here. So think about your value scales as being dark to light. Here's an example I didn't do. This one I just found on the internet. This would be a perfectly good project. Um, obviously, if you don't have this drawing skill yet, try something more within your range. Just put a lot of detail in it. 